Hey guys, in this video what I'm going to show you how to do is display a year, a year month combination, a month or a day based off a specific transaction date using the text formula. So what that allows us to do is give us what the records month is or what the year month is, what the day is, uh, or what the year is, etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in equals text and the next thing I'll do is select the value from which I want to return the year for so that's going to be in cell D2 I'm going to hit comma and then here what we're going to do is type in YYYY and of course if putting if when we put four characters for year we're going to get the full year if you were to put two then you just get the last two digits of the year so if I hit enter and then I double click the auto fill button that'll fill all the way down on my uh, data list here on the year month column if I type a in equals we're gonna also again type text we're gonna select cell D2 so I want month year in this case so what I can do is type in I'd rather have month year as opposed to year month as I have it in the column name but we'll do MMM which is gonna be just uh, three digits of the first uh, month name and I'm gonna then type a dash and then YYYY that'll give me the full year Again, if you wanted the full month name, what you'd do is type in four M's here. So if I hit enter, you'll see that we have September 2015. And again, I'll show you just for simplicity. If I type another M in there, you would get the full September month name. So again, you can use the automatic fill handle on the bottom right hand corner. Double click on it and that'll fill all the way down in your data set. Finally, if we just want month, of course, I'm sure you get where this is going. If we just type in text open bracket we select the transaction date Oop. equals text and then we select the transaction date comma and in this case of course I wanted to do month so we'll just type in MMM in quotations again close that bracket and you'll see that we have September Finally, if you want to do the day, if we type in equals, this is great for schedules and stuff like that. If you're doing a production schedule or something along those lines, you can figure out what actual day of the week uh, the specific date is currently landing on. I use it all the time. Um, so if we type in equals text, open that bracket again, we're going to select cell, oh, we're going to select cell D2. I'm going to hit comma. And again, in this in this case, we're going to use DD, DD, and that's going to actually give me the full uh, day of the week's name. So you see that it shows us Tuesday. If you want to just show the first three characters of that day, you put the three Ds in. And then, of course, if you want to show the actual day, it would show you the eighth day of the month. As you can see over here, it's 08. And again, if we just double click the fill handle, That'll bring us all the way down and we'll have a full set of data using the text formula and playing with these dates. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a note down below. If you have any suggestions for videos or if you're really interested in learning something uh, in regards to Excel, definitely leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you or maybe even create the video. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.